Uh, the race is on to keep humans one step ahead of robots, an international team of scientists. <laughs> All right, hold on. Say this again. All right, the race is on for humans to stay ahead of the robots. One step ahead of robots. They're that close to us now, Fezzi? Yeah, they are gaining uh, daily in huge strides. What robot are we afraid of? Not Asimov, that idiot. No, I think it's like the little nano robots and stuff. Those ones that can uh, recreate themselves. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all uh, these computer systems that run everything. So an international team of scientists and academics, they're going to publish a code of ethics for machines as the machines get more and more sophisticated. So you've lived to this point in life, ladies and gentlemen, where now... We Like iRobot, there will be a code of ethics for robots. It's unbelievable when you really think we made it to this point. And the fact that these scientists will not pay attention to all the mythology that we have in our life that robots will turn on us. Where these scientists that are building them with artificial uh, intelligence know that in some point those robots will be able to be in charge of us. Yeah, it's like they can't see the risks, and they just have to keep going for their sick goal until they can get a robot that'll think and, of course, turn on us. Fez, this on the instant uh, feedback here at Ron and Fez, AOL.com. What kind of ethics is being set up for who? For robots. Okay, this is what it's saying. The word is robot, and you say... Robot. You say robot. Oh, Robot. Yeah, robot. I didn't even notice all this time. Did you, Dave? I caught it a couple <laughs> times. It was very distracting. <laughs> I didn't even catch it when you were saying it to me then. I'm going, robots, right? Robot is the word. He, he sometimes puts the stress on the first syllable. Syllable. Of, of, <laughs> of words. Robot. And bin Laden, bin Laden or something like that. I don't know. You have some weird pronunciations. Okay. Where you put the, 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 the stress in the first syllable. And it's very, syllable. Uh, syllable. I know I've never said robot <laughs> and referring to robot. What do you say? Robot. No, the way you say it sounds like a rowboat. Like we, ha we have a fear of rowboats taking over the country. I didn't even notice that you were doing it. Yeah, me neither. It sort of sounded like robot, though. Robot. Robot. There is no way that I <laughs> said robot. Now you got him all upset again because <laughs> he's already paranoid. Because I'm thinking about it in my head. I'm going, no, even I would know robot isn't the word for robot. Robot. What do you say? Robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's robot. That was close to robot. That's closer to my all best right. pronunciation. Earl, what do you hear? I hear robot. 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 <laughs> now you got me saying it. It's, I say robot. That's pretty Why much real. It? Why are you making up your own word then? <laughs> you say robot. You say robot. Is yeah. What you say instead of bot. Yeah. That's my problem. I don't say bit. But you put the pronounce the the stress on the first syllable. Syllable. And, and that's wrong. Yeah. No, it's robot. Second syllable. Robot. Robot. Not robot. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Robot. Why do you feel like you can come in here and laugh at my partner? Sorry. Robot. <laughs> Robot. Jim. Jim, you're on a Fez. Hey, boy. Yeah. I was wondering, maybe uh, Fezzy's mispronouncing robot because uh, he's uh, fantasizing about a row of butts in front of him. Wow, that's a really, that's a leap. Yes. That's a leap. That's what it was. You got me. All I could picture was naked asses <laughs> in front of me. That's why I've been saying robot for all of my life. Fez, when you do that kind of sarcasm, people just believe you. It is sarcasm, people. It's not coming off that way. Sarcasm. It just sounds like you're talking about a lot of man ass, and it's nerve wracking. Wait, this is why I think I think of Fez doing the robot. He pronounces Batman, Batman. You've heard that, Ron? <laughs> what have I said, Batman? Oh my God! Yeah, exactly. You you call him Batman, don't you? Batman and Robin. Batman. <laughs> I guess That's I do. The first syllable. <laughs> hey, what do you know? I was trying to think. <laughs> Who the fuck is Batman? It sounds like a neighbor from some. Like, here's my neighbor, Batman. Batman begins. Yeah. Yeah, you do. It's I... Batman. <laughs> what the hell goes on? <laughs> I'm in such a damn hurry that I've got to make that last syllable as short as possible. Uh... No, it's the first syllable that needed the accent. Batman. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm doing the best. 
I never, I never fucking ever saw this. I'll think of other ones, but he's got a few more in the bag. Did I do it with Superman today? No, Superman, I say, right? Yeah, and then you say Batman. Oh, excuse me, Batman. Robin is here, and... <laughs> and he's worked on some robots. And he wants you to talk to Commissioner Gadun. <laughs> Gordon. That I can say, right? Wow, this is weird. He, you fucking must sit back there and just watch over him like a hawk, picking out every fault he has. Oh, I do, yeah. I, Why? I analyze him. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that to me? And I often will sit and listen to tapes of Fez um, <laughs> under my Fez shrine in my apartment, which I should take photos of. See, here's the weird thing, Fezzy. You pushed Mikey D away. He had unconditional love for you. Right. You brought in this guy who, uh, face it, is a cancer to you. He just <laughs> looks for you to weaken you every chance he gets. He has all the same obsession, but none of the love, none of the uh, affection for me. No, I love you. I do. I I really do. He's obsessed, but it's with driving me insane now. Fez, there's a brand new uh, comic book here. It's called Batman <laughs> versus the Robot. Robot. I can't even say robot. Is that what you say? Robot. Yeah. Robot. I robot. don't say robot. I say robot. But you do say Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. Batman. Yeah. Out of all the jobs there are in the world, why pick, uh, why pick up public speaking? <laughs> it's Be such a struggle. I had assumed all this time that I was doing it right. I never realized I was mispronouncing these words. Hey, uh, Mark. Mark, your manifest. Hey, guys. Uh, I think the, the true test is to see if any of you can even say rowboat three times real fast. Rowboat, rowboat, rowboat. No, no, fast. Rowboat, rowboat, rowboat. There How'd you, you get through, robot, Mark? Robot, How'd you, robot, robot. How'd you get through, Mark? Oh, he's in Indiana. <laughs> I'm sure it's all a struggle there. Here is uh, Shane. Shane, you're running Fez. Hey, buddies. Hey, Fez, he adds a U to Osama bin Laden's name. He says Osama bin Laden. Yep. Like yep. loud. It's yep. Laden. So. I've heard that I've messed that one up before, but I really could care less that I've gotten the uh, terrorist mastermind's name wrong. There's another one that he has, Mr. B, um, the nuclear bombs. Mm -hmm. He has a real bizarre fucked up pronunciation about that. What's he do? N nuclear? or nu Nuclear or something you say. Oh, yeah, nuclear. <laughs> yeah, well, instead of nuclear. <laughs> now he which, has another syllable. I have practiced that one. I cannot say nuclear all in one word. Nuclear. I have to. Nuclear. nuclear. And the, There's nuclear. no U in it. Right. Nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like N E W C I. Yeah, it's, it's N U and then the word clear. But every time I try to say it, it's still, I still the U still comes out in it. I got a, uh, an email yesterday that goes, "What the fuck was Fez reading in the begin <laughs> in the middle of this show that had a bunch of numbers in it? I couldn't even. You were doing something about percentages. Oh yeah. And they said that you just by the end of it, they had no idea what you were talking about. Yeah, I totally got lost in that one myself. I shouldn't have attempted. <laughs> what was it? I don't even remember. Ronnie, uh, beliefnet.com, they did a survey with people about going to hell and what some people believed in that. Yes. And they uh, div they divvied it up between, like, uh, Protestants and Catholics and, and conservatives and liberals about what are your chances that you would go to hell. 46% of conservatives said there's not a chance they'll go to hell. 28% of liberals said they there's not a chance of them going. Uh, the Protestants more upbeat, 55% said that they won't go to hell, where 21% of Roman Catholics thought it, there was no chance of them being sent to, to Satan themselves. Okay. Also, 61% of men said they knew someone who was going to hell, compared to 50% of women, said they know someone in their personal lives that are going to hell. And then also for reasons of going to hell, Protestants uh, believe more that uh, uh, people are going to hell because they don't have the right belief system, whereas 80% of Catholics believe it's because a person is just plain bad that's going to send them to hell. It was that Newsweek survey on uh, people thinking uh, their thoughts on hell. 
Oh, yeah, right. And then you just started 83%, 41%, and it just went on and on and on. It was all, why are you laughing at him? Here comes a sharp pencil. That proves that you're wittier than him. When you hit him with a pencil, it proves you're smarter. I got some skin, though. Yeah, yeah I hope there's lead poisoning Let's as well. Let's not make a big deal out of it. Let's not make a big deal of it. Uh, here's uh, Ty. Ty, you're on my face. Hey, buddies. Hey, buddy. Hey, Seth, is it Taco Bell or Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Yep. Is that right? Taco yeah, Bell. That's right. You got it. Yeah. yeah. I go to Taco Bell for a uh, gordita. <laughs> is it gordita? <laughs> Here's John. John, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How you doing there, buddy? Go ahead, Johnny. Going Hello? once, twice. No, no. Is it me? Yes, I guess. If your oh, name's okay. John. I'm, I apologize. Um, I was just listening to the World Cup like uh, wrap-up on Channel 148 XM. Yeah. And there's a guy, one of the commentators sounds just like Fez. You've got to pull some audio. It's, just, it's hysterical. I thought I was listening to your show until I realized that they were talking about sports. Like man stuff. All right, the guy on 148, is he on there right now? Is there any way we can listen to the other stations while we're on, Earl? No, it's 148. I think it just the wrapped up, one, like wrapped the, up the at the top of the hour. But we can go in the other Cup. room and try to pull some audio. All right, we'll try to get a hold of that. But maybe right, Fez maybe Fez is moonlighting with World Cup talk <laughs> on 148. And Peru <laughs> beat the hell out of Japan. <laughs> Three to one. Fat Ronaldo scored both goals for Brazil. Well, they had four goals, so both no. goals are only half the goal. Oh, two goals. Screwed that up. Here's uh, Tony. You're on running fence. <laughs> Sorry, man. Your, your invitation got me, man. <laughs> hey, uh, I was just going to say, you know, you can't pick on Fezzi. How can you expect the Canadian to pronounce words of boot right? Yeah, that is true. Although you're from Florida, right, Fez? Yeah, I was born in Florida. Born and raised? Born and raised. Steve, you're on running fence. Hey, uh, Fezzi. Yeah, is buddy. It, is it taste of lemon or twist of lemon? It is fucking twist <laughs> of lemon. All right, let's not get back there again. I think we all know what happened a week ago today oh, yeah. with taste of lemon. All right. When I said over and over again the wrong name of Chris Lemon's new book. See, this is what we're always happens. When we're all having fun, now Fez remembers that Dave and Earl fucked him up, and I don't want to go back to that spot. I want this to be a happy Friday. Or at least a happy Monday. Taste of lemon. Yeah, we uh, we apologize for that taste twist, Mick. All right, I'd let, then you just drop it right okay. now. Don't bring up anything else. I'd believe it if it wasn't said through a snicker. Yeah, I We know. apologize. <laughs> All right. Dave, you're on running Fez. All right, here we go. Fez is the public speaking as Michael J. Fox is to surgery. All right, you guys, that's enough. Uh, Dan, you're on running Fez. Yeah, whenever Fez tries to say pussy, it comes out sounding like cock. <laughs> I know that's not right. <laughs> no! No, do not ring that bell! Time for the big-ass prize closet. Uh, good call. Hold on, Dan. Man, you're getting a DVD copy of Chuck Berry, Hell, Hell, Rock and Roll. This two-DVD set includes original, the original film featuring Chuck Berry, Keith Richards, and Eric Clapton, all from Imagine Entertainment. And not only that, Fezzi, there's a little more. It will be signed by Chuck Berry's illegitimate son, uh, Black Earl. So this is a wonderful, wonderful wrong. Earl, let me just ask this. What is the name of this DVD, just so I have it clear? Hail, hail, Chuck Berry, hail, hail, rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ronnie, would you like to see the plug I got? What do you got, Fezzi? Oh, Chuck Berry, hail, hail, rock and roll and roll. There's an extra and roll. All right, say now we're getting to this point where we're all having trouble. Dave, did you type that up? Um, I did on the plug sheet. Yeah. Mm hmm. Tell me again how we're laughing at Fez. And tell me how, again how this will never happen again. Remember that was Fez's problem with plugs the other day? Yeah. We got the never will happen again? You're right. And uh, this time. This, no, I'm not Hysterical, laughing. isn't it? I'm yeah. not. I'm Remember, not. even earlier today, he came to us and he goes, look, if you need to, I'll read the plugs from now on. And he was being 100% sincere. Yeah, maybe that would be easier. All you have to do is type them correctly as I try to keep a lid on myself. Okay. 
Hail, hail, rock and roll and roll. <laughs> I mean, not even making sense. Now it's not even like taste of lemon, where it's like, okay, that could be taste of lemon. I mean, it's it's in the realm of possibility. My regret is that you didn't already read it first and get really angry. Uh, here is uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Fez. Hey, how you doing, buddies? Uh, I'm not ready to give out that information right now. Yeah, the FBI will be with you later. Hey, I want to know why uh, Fez thinks all superheroes are Jewish. You know, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman. <laughs> Just Batman, sir. Why do you start saying Superman? Can I get Superman in here uh, right away? There's something wrong with this work. Superman. Now, there is already something coming up that Superman is supposed to be Jewish, right? Um, I don't think Superman's supposed to be Jewish. Earl? Yeah, they uh, Newsweek ran a story about the religious backgrounds of various superheroes. Right. And they, and they were, um, several Jewish scholars are making the argument that Superman is, has to be Jewish, and then... I saw a guy on CNN claiming that this week, too. But also remember, the creators of Superman were Jewish guys. So they were acting like, well, they put in some kind of Jewish traditions. But he's in the Midwest... Yeah. Not a lot of Jews there. There's no And Jews remember, there. his really, you know, he ha is an alien. He has some kind of red sun god that he probably yeah. prays to. Ra, I think, is what that sun god's name is. Here's uh, Turtle, your man, Fez. Hey there, Dave. You feeling pretty strong calling out your mentor, Fez, on his pronunciation of things? No, I'm not calling him out. Uh, I think you are, buddy. That's, you, you feeling strong? No. Is today today, big man? Today, today, you take Fezzy down? Is that what it is? No. I know the day's coming sooner or later, Fez. I'm, just... I'm right here, you redheaded stepchild. I'm not taking anybody down. I'm discussing these little quirks that make us all lovable in our own way. Here is Jeff. Jeff, you're on running Fez. Fezzy, you, you are the Ron Burgundy of radio. If, if David put a question mark at the end of Hell, Hell, Rock and Roll, you would have read it. Hell, Hell, Rock and Roll? All right, I'm saying this. You do have improvisational skills, do you not, Fez? Yes, I do. Let's throw the papers out then. Let's get rid of the papers. And I think you'll be happier. But I won't know what the name of anything is. Yeah, but remember yesterday, 83% <laughs> of 65% of Methodists, the percent, the, the percent. I remember what I said at the end of that, too. What? That was totally confusing. I don't know why they, what? Can't, why they can't do a poll where it's just... Pe 51% of people say this. Why they have to keep breaking it down into different groups. But why did you care? I mean, you read it. You brought it from home. What were you thinking was going to happen? That it was going to be great? Yeah, that I, I thought it was interesting, different people's thoughts on hell, and I had read it at home. It caught my eye there, and I had circled it, and I'm going, and when I read it in my head, it seemed to make sense. When I said it out loud, ah, nothing. Nothing there whatsoever. Just a mess. What part made sense to you, though? What uh, got got it into you? I thought it was interesting that there was a certain amount, there's a certain percentage of people that said they knew somebody that was going to hell in their personal lives, and that it was different for Catholics and Protestants of reasons for going to hell. Oh, now you got me all confused a bit again. I have no <laughs> idea. You know what? He's, can you tell what he's talking about? Well, the interesting part was that you know twenty percent only uh, twenty percent of fifteen percent. <laughs> Which is how many when you really... And they were looking like at eight or seven. Two percent. Tiny, I know that. Uh, Pat, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, uh, explain to me how Superman could be Jewish. How would they circumcise him? What would they use to do it? His own heat vision. Oh. That same way he shaves, right, Fez? Yeah, he shaves by bouncing his heat vision off of a mirror and then back onto his face. Uh, John, you're on Run of Fez. He puts a U instead of an A in and everything. When he went down to Graceland, he said Graceland. He does pronounce it Graceland. He pro <laughs> That's another first syllable disaster right there. That was wrong the way you said it? No, no, it's 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 Graceland. Graceland. I'm going Graceland. to Graceland. Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to Graceland. I think it's supposed to be Graceland, like Disneyland, not Graceland. Why are you so excited... And backing up every caller. <laughs> no. You feel like 
any fucking witch hunt against Fezzi, and you're there with a torch. No, no, He no. just cheers. As he hears a caller say something, he practically jumps out of his chair and waves his pom-poms. All right, where did you go with Elfish? I went to Graceland. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get another pen, you laughing hyena. Ron and Fizz, XM202.